Now, I know you had a thing recently, right? Is he a high-risk free agent? You're saying he's not a high-risk well, free agent. This was one of the things that we talked about, and uh, Jeff Fletcher made this point. I like It really has made me think the last 24 hours. Um, is he the riskiest free agent? out there or maybe in some ways the least risky free agent and I think you can look at it this way if you go sign Steven and he does what Steven Strasburg has done what do you get out of that contract you get nothing if if you sign Otani to be an ace and a middle of the order bat the two most valuable commodities you could possibly look for in baseball mm -hmm. right right and then something happens and he can't pitch you still got a middle of the order bat yeah unless it's his core or his hip or his groin muscle then he can't do either Okay. Well, <laughs> it's a, I, he's still one, one thing, body. There's a thing that happens to baseball players. They get hurt. Okay, you can't control that. But, but this gives you two chances to right, get. Right. Here's where I disagree. All right. Now, here's <laughs> two, right. And what? he did do that. In your defense, he did do that. He, if you hurt this ligament here, he can still hit, and he will hit. And he did. And he did. <laughs> However, if he hurts any other part of his midsection or anything like that, the whole both players go down, and you might be spending 50 to $60 million, I hear, for this guy. So that's not risk. That's high, high risk. There's going to be a lot of money at stake, no matter That's what. Risk. Uh, this is an incredible yeah. risk, but do you want to be the team that lets this guy yeah. leave? That would hurt. That would hurt. Chris Russo said the other day that no GM wants it on their tombstone that they traded Shohei yeah. Otani. So if he's not an angel, it's going to be because he's elected to go someplace else in free agency. Do you yeah. think he's an angel past this year? Yeah, you know, I, and I've said this a lot a bunch of times, and so many people come in when we're visiting clubs. Go, where's he going to go? I go, I think he's going to say with the Angels. I really do. I mean, obviously, we're, we're always going to be biased. We want to be able to talk about Shoei Otani every day. But when you think about it, the comfort zone, I mean, Zach Neto and Mickey Moniak already said, these are young kids saying he's the best teammate they've ever had. David Fletcher's back up there watching those two together when they were on the bus when, when David Fletcher came back from AAA. Just a smile on his face. His relationship with, you know, Patrick Sandoval. He is so comfortable with his teammates in Anaheim on this team right now and I think he's really happy with the direction of the club and that's the most important thing he said all along he wants to win and they haven't really I mean you look at some of the guys on this team that haven't really kicked it into the gear they're normally I mean Mike Trout and you know at some point he's getting close where he's going to beat Mike Trout and then his team gets that much better Anthony Radon gets back in there he's such a clutch hitter and fielder his entire career is a World Series champion so there's been some injuries but I think when you kind of when you bring in an Eduardo Escobar and, and Mike Moustakis uh, I think all of a sudden you feel pretty good about the depth. Some guys are trying to put it together. They haven't quite got there yet. They're six games over 500. So I, I, that's why I think Shohei feels this the right team. They have some great arms in, in the minor leagues. They have about three or four really good infielders and outfielders that might make an impact within a year or two. So the direction of the club is going in right now makes me feel that Shohei, no matter what everyone's saying, I really think Shohei is <laughs> going to remain an angel.